Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us on this next episode of our Let's Play through Bioshock. So, uh, as we just, uh, where we last left off, Atlas's family was blown up in the submarine and we had just made it to Arcadia, where Andrew Ryan made some very imposing threats. So let's go ahead and see if we can't, uh, get started with everything. So, Arcadia is always a really cool place. Uh, this actually is going to explain, hang on. So this is this is what's explaining like those ghosts that we've seen like the one outside of Fontaine not Fontaine's um, the one outside of God, what was his name um, Steinman like the one outside of Steinman's office and the one in the bathroom and the other ghosts that we've been seeing. I don't trust that at all. Oh, sugar. I'm spliced up in ways you never dreamed of. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> it's weird that in the captions for that, it gave us the name of the male, but the female was just female splicer. What a night I got lined up. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine. Even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo, just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. And that was actually the guy in the thing. Documentation procedure is a success. The slugs alone could not provide enough atom for serious work, but combined with the host, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience, Thunderbolt. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open. And that problem will be solved. Okay, so we just saw that guy run across the corner. And, um, this is actually going to be something incredibly creepy. Hey, can you help me, man? Can you help me out? So these are actually Houdini splicers. They are very hard to mess with. So let's see if we can't... This is what happens when you sneak up on somebody who's quick to pull out a shotgun. Sorry, I keep clicking out of the tab. Oh, I really need to give me some Eve upgrades. Alright. So where are they at? That's the thing I don't like about this part, is some of these are very scripted, so if you're, if you're quick on the trigger and you can get them... Come on. Okay, let's not die. That would be bad. If you're quick on the trigger and you can hit them before they actually introduce themselves as, like, fightable enemies, then you just waste the ammunition. And that's the thing I don't like about them. Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. 
riot act. Should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? <sighs> I started to argue with a man, and then I remembered who signed my checks. The only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. And this is where this this is the problem with Andrew Ryan. I'll rip you open. Oh, oh, oh. Dad damn it. Okay. I don't think I really have anything that I can do with that range. Except zap him a couple times, but that's not really going to I'll tell you what I can do is I can set him on fire. He's kind of a ways up there, so I gotta kind of get up to him. Okay, come on. There's a lot happening. There's a turret back there, and I can't, I can't get out from under this wall. Who do you think you are, James Bond? Just rolling around like that. Oh, darling. Oh, dang. She didn't even get to heal at this heat heal station. Alright, let's get ice. Then we're just going to start a hack. So, this is actually a very good place to kind of collect my thoughts after that whole shebang. Um, so this is the thing about Ryan. Is and this is the thing about the the whole idea of having a uh, a whole city secluded from everything is you're giving him control over every aspect of everything that could possibly happen in this city um, like for example just going to a park you know um, parks owned by the state and so you know they're just public things that anybody has access to Oh, that would have been bad. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. Hang on. And I didn't even get any loot from him. There was no reason to wait for that. I could have just let him die. And, um... But if Ryan built this park... Or built this park... Or... Ryan had this park built from scratch, then um, he has the access to do that. He can totally charge if he wanted to. And that's the problem with with Rapture as a whole. And why it can't work. Let's see. We're going to be getting a ton more um, plasmids along the way, but there are just certain ones that are always good to have, and those initial ones that you first get are always so useful in the world. For example... Never mind. So this is also how they introduce tripwires to us, but a cool thing is... Any physical object will trip the wire, not just me. Okay, well, there's a station. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a turret? Nope, okay, that is a station, a you invent. Actually, this is perfect. Let me see if I can't use these. I was just talking about these. This is what these are for. You can build ammo here, and if you hack them, then it costs less. I can make automatic hack tools, I can make some exploding buckshot, uh, I can make anti-personal rounds. Uh, there's only certain things. Eventually, I'll get blueprints to be able to make more stuff. But, as of right now, this is all I got. And as of right now, I'd like to see if I can find the camera that this station goes to. And if I can, then 
We have a little bit of an advantage. Okay, is that even affecting him? Yes, it is. He's mad. Come on. He's... Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, that was a little too close. There we go, I think he's down. There he goes. And then we're just going to rescue her. You know, it gets a lot easier once you have high-powered explosives. <laughs> There's not a problem that eight grenades in a span of six seconds can solve. You, like the you have saved the little ones when you might have shown your cruelty. I am sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks. And I might want to actually start using antipersonal rounds if I can. Because the enemies are starting to get tougher and tougher. Now, there was a... There it is. Safe cracker reduces the difficulty of hacking safes. Uh, I typically save my, um... I typically save my auto hacks for saves and safes and uh, things of that nature. So, I do want to get another plasmid slot. See, this is also where... See, Electrobolt 2. So, they upgrade in power and uh, lethality as you go. And you'll get more and more as you, uh, more and more plus twos and everything as we go along. So definitely want another plasma slot. You always want to try and unlock as many of those as you can. Uh, we'll do Sonic Boom for now. Sonic Boom actually is Sonic Boom's a pretty good one if you use it the right way. So we got that now. And I definitely want to get an Eve upgrade. And I think I will go for Electrobolt 2. And then that'll be good. And we're pretty well upgraded at the current moment, so we should be fine. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The mark does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be too. See, and this is the part where the ideology really starts to fall apart, and the more we look into it, the more it will do that. It's People want the market regulated, because if you don't regulate a market, if the government does not step in and set a clear-cut boundary of rules, then money will always become more important than, than people, and this is the price of that. I see the camera now. Rolling Hills is over yonder, and the Bathosphere station is as well. Can I hack it from here? Nope. So the our next overall objective in the game has been made clear. On the surface, I once bought a forest. The parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rebel could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. When Congress moved to nationalize my forest, I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds of this Arcadia. I did. <laughs> And that is right there exactly. I'm gonna ignore her for just a second because she can't attack me while I'm in here. Ha 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 ha. So, and, and this brings us to a wonderful opportunity to talk about Ryan's God Complex. Because that is exactly what he thinks. He, he equates himself to God on numerous occasions. Which, in numerous ways, is just unhealthy. And... So that's really what, what everything boils down to, is he equates himself to God because he believes that Rapture is his Eden. And whenever the pe- Do you mind? 
Okay, that works too. Holy crap. Okay, so anyway. Um, oh god, I don't know if I can... Yeah, I can take him on. Okay, let's do it. Oh, with armor piercing around, this should definitely help. Oh, and the rocket turn is also going to be a huge help. There we go. And you are down. Oh, poop. You know what I just did? He didn't have a little girl with him. Darn. The minute we came here, Nasha started screaming, Mama, Mama, what is that? What is that? I thought she was having some kind of seizure. And then I realized, trees, trees. Never saw one before. Thought they were monsters. Oh, Sammy. Maybe we never should have come to this place. And so that is the main... That that right there is exactly where Rapture's downfall occurred. Is when Andrew Ryan equated himself to God and the people of Rapture told him no. And he chose instead of humbling himself, he chose to buckle down on it and say, I'm God, I shouldn't have to listen to these people. That's the one thing I don't like about the hacking system in this game, is everything is completely randomized. And it kind of has to be by the nature of what it is. But the only problem with that is if you completely randomize something, then you open yourself up to the opportunity- Oh god, this is gonna be hard. I need one that goes straight up and down. Um, turn. Here. Okay, work fast, work fast, work fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Elbow. There we go. Um, um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What do we got? Okay. I got everything fully uncovered at least. Okay. We're doing good. Just keep trying to build up how many things it has to go through, and that also builds up my time. Go here. And then go here, and then go here, and we can call it done. Boom. And that made it worth it in that regard. Right there. And there it is. Freaking dick move. As soon as you fill yourself up on pistol rounds, they give you one more. Uh, okay. Okay. like her she's she's one of the cool characters that that you, that you meet along the way and that's why I wanted pistol ammo god I love this gun um she's actually one of the really cool characters you see okay so that just doesn't work on them human blood and chant, harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient gods. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it ambrosia. 
Okay. So that kind of explains who these guys are, why they're dressed up like why they're dressed up like druids and this whole thematic thing that they're doing. Um so we'll see Houdini splicers in other places, but that's but this is why we're seeing these guys in particular dressed the way they are and grouped up the way they are. They just kind of hold up in... Good God. They just kind of hold up in um, Arcadia. I almost forgot the name of the place. Arcadia Glens. And we need to go get some Rosa Gallica. Can I just set all of you on fire? <laughs> Darling, the medicine, I need it now. Uh, yeah, you're on fire. If you have specific medicine for spontaneous combustion, then it's very strange. Uh, it takes them longer to see. Nah, I'm pretty good on that one. Okay. That's exactly what we need. Then we go to telekinesis, and we just take this little wooden box. Which can apparently stop bullets. Wooden box stops machine gun! Oh, poop. I'm just gonna auto hack it. Now I need to find a crap, 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 crap. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I forgot about the security camera. Ah, oh, poop. Dad, Jim it. Okay, there's the light. Okay, there's another turn down there. Okay, there we go. Kind of explains what we're here for. Gregory, don't come whining to me about market forces and don't expect me to punish citizens for showing a little initiative. If you don't like what Fontaine is doing, well, I suggest you find a way to offer a better product. And this is why they give us all these turrets and everything, so this way we can kind of set up ourselves a little bunker and hidey hole. I couldn't believe how much things had changed since I left Dr. Steinman's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding up people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan how could he do such things to innocents. Innocence. If they haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes, and there are criminals. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. 
But yeah, that's literally the mindset. I hate that mindset of the, if you're not with me, then you're against me. And that's, this is, you, it's obvious as to why this city fell apart. Look at you! Dead! Well, oh, this is... we've already been here, yeah. You've brought the Rosa Gallica? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send it through the new mode. Yes, this is perfect. Perfect. Come on up to my office. I'm letting you in now. I think I've got just the thing to put the green back in this forest. Julie, we made a business deal, you and I, did we not? Money changed hands. Let me read to you from the agreement. Section 3, subsection 4. Mr. Ryan. Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus. Ownership is civilization. Wait, no, please. Without it, So with a dying breath, she gave us the way. What's the point of being a damn genius if the only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons? I've cracked the vector, or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. All right. So, this is where we see the next part of our goal, what all we need to do. We need to go through Arcadia, and we need to find the pieces to be able to rebuild the Lazarus Vector in order to bring the trees back to life so we have hope of having oxygen to breathe long enough to get out of here. So, uh, this is where I'm going to cut off the episode. Uh, this has been just as good. Uh, this has been a really good episode. This has been a really good series. Bioshock is definitely one of my favorite games, and I really appreciate y'all taking this journey with me. Uh, thank you so much. I really hope you had a good time. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this episode. I've enjoyed making it. Uh, thank you so much. Come see me again. Just... Make sure you go the way the crow flies. <laughs>